So you can see as you go in transition, pelvis moves forward, head stays back. Chest is rotating and slightly good going towards the target, mm. right? But the main thing that I see with multiple people, and this is kind of like a little cheat code, your swing path and swing direction will follow your eye line quite a bit. Okay, Ken, so let's talk about the importance, mate, of keeping the head back through the ball in players' attempts to get a little bit of a push draw or something that we just saw there, right? Yeah. We see a lot of players, they're in the pursuit of getting that drawing ball flight. And so many of them are struggling by like big flare outs, fades and slices. And a lot of them are concerned about trying to get the golf club from the inside, but really how the upper body moves in space coming down through impact has a huge influence on our ability to achieve that, correct? Oh yeah, very much so. So, I mean, all good players really have a stable head. They know what their head's doing. They know where it is in space and how it's tilted, yeah. right? So all drawers of the golf ball are gonna keep their head more back than a, the average golfer who's a slicer um, I see on a daily basis. So the, the head, if it's moving forward, mm. you have a very good chance for that upper body to chase with it, yeah. right? So the more we can control the head, stabilize the head, and know what it's doing through our swing, the better we're gonna pitch that shaft and start our ball more to the right, getting it curving it back to the left. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think what would be best to, to give the players at home a visual reference for that, right, is I'm gonna set up here, and let's say I put myself into a, a stock pretty good backswing position. Now, if you came and uh, put your club up against my head for me, right, um, if I then break through that, what happens to the pitch of the shaft? The pitch of the shaft is just going to steepen. Now, it, is, it might, what we've done is just translate it and it's gotten high too, mm. right? So if when that head and chest kind of do this overtaking move over the pelvis, the, sh the, the shaft and the, the head are just pitching well outside your hands, mm. right? Now, if you do the exact opposite, the club will lower in a sense, right? Because you just, you can maintain all those great wrist angles like you just did, but your mm. swing direction is going to go 90 miles left. Mm. So what you've got is some good, some good wrist angles. Mm -hmm. You're keeping the hand, you're lowering the hands and keeping them back, but you're doing, doing this with your, the relationship of your pelvis and your upper body and head. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So then if I'm switching onto this face on view here, right? And let's recreate that same look. So from the top of the swing, what you're saying is that in this transition, if I get that big driving over the top movement, you Correct. can see that the, the upper body here, the center line of my upper body is moved in front of my, my lower body. Right? 100%. Yeah. And what we would like to see if we're trying to produce a draw is that that would actually in space stay back for a bit longer. Correct. Correct. And my head does what as I do so? So when you do that, the head's staying back. So if we had that, you can go back up to the top so we can kind of see this. So you can see as you go in transition, pelvis moves forward, head stays back. Chest is rotating and slightly good in going towards the target, mm. right? But the main thing that I see with multiple people, and this is kind of like a little cheat code, right? So what's funny is, is your, your, your swing path and swing direction will follow your eye line quite a bit. Massively, yeah. Okay, so it, go back up there. Now, if you do one of these moves where your head just starts going like this and the lower, the, your left eye starts to tilt lower than your right, your, your club will follow that swing direction, mm. right? So if you look at like Rory, Rory's a guy that has huge hill, uh, eye tilts to the right, Correct. right? So, uh, and I'd say almost the average golfer does not do enough of it. Now, there are some people that do it too much, obviously. But again, now watch, now as you do that, you're gonna start to tilt and it's like an automatic insurance builder to, to keep your head back. Yeah, right. So the more you drop that, like if you just feel like there's water pouring outside the right side of your ear there, <laughs> you're going to start shifting your, your lines more right. Yeah. So you're saying before every round, get a bucket of water, just tip it in there. Oh, yeah. And then exactly. just try and like yeah. really work just, it Just up. like <laughs> roll a little vial and just start going. <laughs> right, right. I love that. I love that. So setting up to the top, the head is in position, right? Correct. If I'm getting my eye line and it almost feels like my right ear is getting lower down Correct. to the ground. Yeah. We can see that my head stays back in space and the club is going to drop underneath. From a lower position. Correct, that is mm. beautiful. Yeah, perfect. Chest stays behind, head stays behind the ball. One of the other benefits to doing this, uh, which I feel like is overlooked by a lot of players, is getting the arms unloading underneath the chest as well. Beautiful. Like if I'm at the top and let's say my eye line is shifting to the left, my head's driving forward, my arms, they're not incentivized to get underneath 
our chest, right? Correct. Which means we usually see this kind of like stuck oh, yeah. image where the club really kind of gets so far behind us in this position here. Yeah. Now, we certainly don't want that. But what with the professional does is from the top of the swing, as they get this sensation that, yeah, the eye line shifting, the head staying back, the arm, especially this trail arm, can unload underneath the chest better. We get here, our yeah. hands in front of the chest, and that gives us lots of room. Yeah, we, I, you know, we always some an easy way to describe that unloading is like a bi, a revert, like a reverse bicep curl, mm -hmm. right? So you're just un, like if you curled your the the weight up, it'd yeah. be like an uncurling of that right arm. Yeah, and that's that lowering effect that we're exactly like you're talking about. So the club is just getting lower yeah, because yeah, you've. Yeah. Done this. Now, let's say a player is, they've analyzed their swing at home or they've had a lesson, they can see that from the top, really their head is driving forward, the pitch of the shaft's coming over the top, um, all the water's coming out of their left ear. What's a, what's a great drill or exercise you'd get them to do to help rectify this issue? Here? Uh, sometimes, you know, like it, it just depends, you know, like a lot of people just need to be, ed sometimes they just need to be educated mm. and have a kind of a feeling. So, uh, you know, like what I'll try to say is like, first off, their eye tilts from the start have to be good mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So like I'd actually rather sometimes like just build it in there, yeah. right? Okay. So get the eyes slightly tilted, right ear lower than the left, yeah. you know, type thing. So that, as you can see, look at what that's done right there. Pull that back up there. That was a really good visual. Look at where your swing direction is now pushed, mm -hmm. right? So if you follow that eye line from the start, yeah, there you go, right? And you've built in and look at what you've, you've kind of built in that secondary axis tilt right here with your upper body mm. just by changing your eye line. Yeah. Right. So making sure that that head staying behind the ball, tilting it slightly to the right, it will start as a huge starting point, like making sure you have that start tilt. Now, if you go up to the top, because honestly, you're going to have that beautiful. Yeah, you're going to you're going to tilt it, turn it just like that. Now, what some people need to feel in order to get this keep that head back is they need to feel like in transition there's like this little tennis ball right here mm -hmm. and you're just going to kind of smush that tennis ball so there you go so you're going to bend to the right beautiful now see how your hands just got really close to my ear yeah so yeah, that's yeah. that feeling right there and you're okay. you're creating a, a larger distance here between your left ear and your left shoulder yeah right so that's so like it's just like an imagination of trying to feel like you're like literally dumping the water out mm. or you're just kind of smashing like a tomato or 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 a tennis ball right there on your right ear i, I really love uh internalized feels like that as yeah. well because don't get me wrong there's certain drills and exercise where you have a stick up against your your lead side here which are very effective yeah and that'll keep your head back but what we do see a lot of players then get in the habit of is just becoming an overriding back foot bandit through uh, through the golf ball and Correct. they can actually injure themselves. Correct. So just having that movement and that awareness of like, let's say eye line or uh, right ear moving into position and then at least still following through. I think that's very important. Yeah. So again, this is like, is, is, this is a cheat code, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like if they're, if you're already got tons of pivot, you're doing all this stuff and your swing direction is just totally left. Yeah. This is really just kind of build that in for you. Yeah. So if you struggle with rotation and pressure forward, this might not necessarily be, be the best thing because you're probably already swinging right. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So you kind of have to understand how these things work and when to when to kind of insert them. When right? to apply it. Perfect. So I'm going to map this together for a little feel. I'm going to have a little rehearsal, just getting a sensation. I'm going to shift my eye line a little bit Beautiful. to the right because I want to have that. And then I'm going to feel like I'm kind of getting that really bunched up between that trail shoulder and that ear, ensuring that I'm still following through. Straight away, I can feel that my swing direction is now shifting a little bit more to the right. Beautiful. All right, let's blend it into a shot. Yes, sir. You know what? Through the ball, that felt really good. 